Hello guys, in today's tutorial we will be looking into how to install Rocket Chat in a Google Cloud Engine. So Rocket Chat is a completely open source team communication software which is equivalent to HipChat or Slack. And it also provides multiple ways to be installed or deployed. And one way is through Docker. So in today's tutorial we will be like deploying the Rocket Chat with Docker and we will be exposing the Rocket Chat via the standard HTTP port. So let's begin. So in order to begin let's Let's go to the Google Cloud Platform console and let's create an instance. First we need to provide the proper name and then we need to select the proper resource type for our virtual machine. So in one standard one is enough for the current purpose. Then we need to change the operating system. Let's choose Ubuntu 18 here. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be exposing the Rocket Chat via the standard HTTP port, which is port 80. So I'll be ticking this tick box. But if you want to expose the chat via a SSL endpoint, so HTTPS encrypted endpoint, you need to check this tick point, which is allow HTTPS traffic. So now I'll be tra clicking the allow HTTP traffic and let's create a virtual machine. For the current purpose, I have already create, created a virtual machine here. So let's try to connect to the virtual machine. So what I'm what I'll be doing here is I'll be installing the required softwares and then I'll be running the Docker Compose files here. So all the commands which I'm copying here are available in the description below. So you can also copy them and try it out. So initially we need to install Docker. So we can install the latest Docker engine via this command. So if you already have a Docker and Docker Compose pre-installed in your virtual machine, then you can skip these two steps. Okay, let's wait till the Docker installation is finished. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll add the add our current user to the sudo list. So we don't need to type sudo for each and every time we are uh, trying out Docker. Then what we need to do is we need to download the Docker Compose file. Please note that I'm install, installing the version 1.24, which is currently the stable release. If you want to try out a new version, please change the URL here and download the appropriate version. Then what we need to do is we need to make this file executable. So now we have done the appropriate changes. Let's log out and log in again to make the changes effect. Okay, we are back again. So in here, let's create a file called Docker Compose. And copy the content here. Now, in order to execute this file, we need to provide these commands. This will, in the background, run all the containers ne necessary. Now, you can see it's pulling all the relevant containers, which is the MongoDB and the Rocket Chat. So, I'll explain what's actually going on in this file. So. From Rocket Chat version 1 onwards, they have mandated the use of the MongoDB replicas. So what actually happens is, when you create a replica, it will create a log file. And this Rocket Chat acts as a tailing application which reads read the log files and gets all the latest changes to the, changes to the database and push the changes to the users. This actually allows the Rocket Chat to work in a more efficient and faster manner. So first, the MongoDB will get installed, then the rep replica will be initiated. But keep in mind, there won't be a, an additional Docker container will, which will be running. So you'll be only saying two Docker containers, which is Mongo and the Rocket Chat. And to initialize the Mongo, it might take several minutes. So what we have done here is we have written a bash command to continuously look through to identify whether 
the Mongo is up and running and it will then initiate the uh, replica set. The same happens to Rocket Chat as well. Okay, now everything is up and running. Let's see whether the containers are running. Yes, the two are running. So let's check the status of our Rocket Chat. So what I'm doing here is I'm copying the container ID and pasting it over here. Yes. Now we can see the rocket chat is actually running and you can also view some of the errors here. This happens because as I explained previously, the replica set and MongoDB will continuously retry until everything is up and running. In order to, so if your internet connection is something low, low or if you encounter any problems, what you can do is you can initially run Mongo, then wait for a while then create the init replica then finally run the rocket chat okay now go and le le let's go and check whether our installation is working fine so this is the external ip of our virtual machine let's click it and remove the s part over here and yes the rocket chat is working fine so in here we need to configure our administrator details over here so Let's put some sample data here. I'm just skipping the next steps. And let's select the standalone version. Let's go to Rocket Chat and yes, the system is up and running. So if you want to configure the system in the default port 80, then this should be enough for you. Now I'll be showing you how you can run the system in a different port. In order to do that, what we have to do is if I show the docker compose file again in here we are exposing the docker container port to the host port port 80 so if you want to host it in another port let's say port 80, 80 or 8090 then you need to change the appropriate port in this segment here and also in here you need to provide the appropriate root URL for the system so let's see how we uh, like uh, let's see how we can set up this firewall configurations over here so let's go to the VPC network this can be found over here you can go to VPC network and firewall rules yes this is available and create a firewall rule over here Let's provide a name for our firewall rule and also let's select uh, the network which is all, already the default network and we need to specify a target as well for this purpose I'm selecting all the instances and I need to give a source IP range currently I'm allowing all the traffic from the internet to access this rocket chat if you want to limit it you need to limit it via the cider block range here and here I'm allowing TCP port 8080 and let's create the firewall rule if you create this firewall rule and if you also update the docker compose file with the appropriate port number and restart the container then you you should be able to run the rocket chat in the appropriate ports so that's that's his box hope this is helpful helpful for you thank you